Hey, what's going on YouTube? Alabama Reloader here. So, oh man, it is hot. Good night. Oh, I think it was like in the mid 90s today. Oh, heat index was, I think, over 100. A little warm, just slightly warm. I got flies everywhere in here that are driving me nuts. But, uh, you know, just because it's hot doesn't mean you shouldn't drink coffee. Okay. So, make sure you drink your coffee at all times throughout the day. Oh man, it's a good cup of, cup of Joe. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do now, um, so if you've followed along and actually paid attention in any of the videos that I've just uploaded, because I've kind of uploaded several, um, but that's the joy of me not having a like a professional setup or even just a halfway decent setup where I can actually sit down and edit videos together and do all that. And, you know, you just, it is what it is on this channel. You know, you get what you pay for, which, yeah. So, so I break uh, a lot of stuff down in multiple videos uh, just because I film it on my phone and that's how it works for me. So, uh, the past few videos been kind of slow, you know, just walking you through the process, kind of talking over everything. Um, we now have, uh, so here are, the, here are the primers I was telling you about. So we're going to be using S&B uh, primers. Remember these these guys here. We're going to be loading up the Sierra Match Kings, 130 gram. We don't have 50 of them. I don't think it doesn't look like there's 50 in the box. Uh, so we're just going to load as many as we can, and then we'll switch over to the Hornady 139s. We'll be using the same charge weight uh, for both, even though there is a difference in uh, bullet and grain weight looking at uh, the looking at the accurate load data um, for both bullets. It's looking like that's going to fall in the range where it'll be acceptable to use. So we're using... Uh, we're not going to be using the collet die. I just bought this so I could get the seating die. Um, it was it was kind of difficult to find just a seating die. Um, <clears throat> I have the full length sizing die already, and so it was just very difficult to find the uh, a seating die. I wanted a Hornady seating die because I have the micro just seating stem, but you can't always get what you want. So this is one of those cases um, where. Uh, uh, oh yeah, we should be good there. Um, this is one of those cases where I just simply couldn't find it. You know, couldn't find it, nowhere to be found. Um, oh man, I keep having to wipe the sweat off my face. I'm wearing my glasses today and it just, man, sweat is everywhere. Um, cause it's humid as all get out. That's part of the problem. But Imperial sizing dot wax out of the way. Throw that up there. Hand primer. Well, and of course, we got to switch it up, switch it over because it's set to small. I've actually thought about buying a second one of these um, and dedicating it to large rifle uh, primers. I believe that's what Johnny's reloading bench. I think that's what he did way back when. He just bought a second one. And I may do the same thing. They're not cheap, but man, this is, this hand primer is so worth it, in my opinion. It's one of the best ones out there. Like, I know you can get, um, I think the Frankfurt Arsenal does like a click adjustable or like a seating depth on the primer. I think you can adjust that. So, I mean, that, that's a cool feature to have, but I haven't tried that primer, that that hand priming tool so I can't really speak to that one I've just I've seen videos on it so it looks pretty cool but man this guy right here this RCBS is just it is the bee's knees I've tried the Lyman I've tried the Lee and between these three oh and the Hornady tried their their hand primer so between those four this guy right here the Universal don't get their uh, version that takes shell holders. That's terrible. Yeah, if you can get away from shell holders in one step of the process, you're doing good. So stick with stick with the universal uh, hand primer. You can thank me later. 
So let's see here. All right. So we don't even have these guys primed yet. We're gonna get these flipped over. Just finished up with uh, some yard work. Ravel these around, get them flipped. There's a couple that just don't want to. I mean, you hear the flies, I man. There's like 20 in here, it seems like. Going nuts. There's really like two, but they sound, sound like a small army of flies. All of that. So there's our primers all loaded up. Let's open the gate, get these guys primed. Oh yeah, another cool thing. So uh, if you guys have not checked out Duck Creek Sporting Goods, so that's duck like the animal, D-U-C-K, Duck Creek Sporting Goods. There's the primer S and B. They've got gold primers, gold color primers. I guess you could say it's brass color as well, whatever. Um, you need to go check out Duck Creek Sporting Goods. Um, guy by the name of Denny runs that outfit. I think he's based out in Colorado, I believe. Um, and you can find some good stuff on his website. Some stuff that, uh, you know, is a little bit harder to find at some of the, the big name uh, retailers like Midway USA and those type of places. That was where back when I was working up that 250 Savage, that 250 3000 Savage load for my uncle. Um, I was having a hard time just finding 250 Savage brass. That's one of those that is not a common caliber by any means in today's world. So pretty obscure, um, you know, and he had a ton of brass for it. Um, and he had some bullets and everything. So kind of, you know, and that was back during the, uh, I mean, that was back November of last year. So, I mean, that's in the middle of the, of the craziness. And he had what I needed. So when no one else did. So that's one of those things, you know, it's just another source um, for you folks. I think locally, uh, if you live over there, over that way, uh, I believe he carries powder and primers, I believe. Uh, cause he has it, he has at least powder listed on his website, but it doesn't ship. You know, he's not, he's not approved to ship, uh, hazmat. So, so that's, all, that's local, uh, that's local pickup only. Um, but for all you reloaders out there, go give that dude a, uh, go give his website a, a check and see what he's got. He uh, he sent me an email a couple of days ago, or it might have been last week, that he was getting in. He had just made an order, uh, an initial order from Hammer Bullets. And if you haven't heard of Hammer Bullets, just go obviously check out YouTube. Go watch uh, Outdoor Adventures. That's Adventures E D V E N T U R E S Outdoor Adventures. Um, that dude, he's a really cool guy to follow and watch his videos. He does a lot of, uh, hunting at night using a thermal. Um, so that's really cool. If you're into that kind of stuff, you need to be watching his videos. He puts out really good content about, um, bullet performance on hogs, coyotes, that kind of stuff. And he loads hammer bullets. Um, he's been on a kick loading those. Uh, here lately so go check that out um so denny over at duck creek he sent me an email hey made an initial order of hammer bullets they should be coming in anytime you know go check them out if there's anything you want go ahead and order them uh, let me know what you think when you get them in you know and test them and all that so they came in i got an email from him last night that they came in um or that he had, that he uh, got the shipment in and he was able to upload everything to the website. So I went out, 
uh, ordered a couple boxes. They're not cheap. They're, they are, uh, they're just like, you know, Barnes bullets. They're just a touch more expensive than Barnes. They're solid copper uh, turned on a CNC. So, uh, you know, I mean, you're, you're, paying, you're, you're paying a premium bullet price uh, for these guys. They are based out of Montana. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, USA. So go motherland. Um, there you go, 50 pieces prime. So, uh, and I've never really looked into them, but they have some really cool solid copper offerings. And so I went ahead and pulled the trigger, pun intended in this case, um, and ordered ordered some. Uh, oh, what did I order? I think I ordered. Yes, I ordered the. They have 124 grain. Um, bullet for uh, 270 Winchester, so 277 diameter. Um, so I went ahead and ordered that. So I'll be comparing that directly to this guy right here. I've got a good load worked up for the Barnes uh, 129 grain LRX. So that's 124 grain uh, hammer that I ordered. So I'll be kind of doing a comparison video on those. Uh, the barns, they have a, you know, they've got a blue tip on the end of them. Um, so they're not, I mean, they're solid copper, but then they also have that polymer tip. Uh, the hammers, they are just a solid copper with a hollow point, uh, much like the regular TR, TSX line, the original uh, that Barnes put out. So, so there's that. We'll be comparing those. And then I also ordered some, what I think would be really cool, 120 five grain i think they're called super shock or shock hammer or something uh, they got some interesting names um for the 350 legend so it's a 350 legend specific bullet um that'll be really cool i'm looking forward to that that's going to be pretty awesome uh we'll give that a shot and see how uh see how that performs the, i was reading on their website the that bullet that i got for the 350 legend it's supposed to, uh, it has a larger diameter hollow point, so it expands more rapidly and it will shed some of its weight. Um, more so than the bullet that I ordered for the 270. So that's their, their hunter, their hammer hunter bullets or something like that. I think is what they're called. Those bullets are meant to retain more of their weight, um, more deeper penetration, weight retention style bullets. The one I got for the 350 Legend, you know, it's not going to just grenade, but it will expand rapidly uh, and retain a good bit of its weight as well. But it, it'll just be interesting to see how those perform. I only bought a couple boxes because, again, they ain't cheap, about a dollar a piece. Um, so two boxes of 50, you're looking at 100 bucks, right, for two boxes of bullets. So. But for solid copper, that's really what you're going to pay. Barnes, you can find them, you know, cheaper than that. But still, you're you're paying a premium when you when you switch when you decide to make the switch to solid copper. So, um, what are we doing here? All right, start talking to you guys. I'm going to lose track of what's going on. So we grabbed a. We'll go with a. I reckon we'll go with a 2.8. CC Lee scoop. So that's what we're going to work with here. We'll just see how she see how she rolls. And so again, I looked up the load data. I just wanted to make sure um, that this, I wanted to do the same charge weight, even though I'm using two different bullets. I really didn't want to go off, you know, doing different charge weights and having to fool with all that. I really just wanted to stick to one. Um, whoops, I knew that was gonna be over. This is an extruded powder, so it doesn't take much um, when you're dumping this stuff out. to get a little, get a little heavy. There we go. 
looks like we're just a few tenths. Light. And that's the good thing about doing something like this where we're just working on fire forming loads. I mean, it doesn't even have to be exact. Like I don't have to hit 41 right on the nose. We're about 40.9. Throw in a couple kernels and we'll just call it good. So that's, that is one good thing, you know, about what we've got going on here. We don't, we don't have to be precise. We don't have to be exact. We're, we're simply wanting to get some data, um, load it up, and then uh, not even get data, really. I mean, we'll, we might, um, we might ch take velocity information, even though it's meaningless, it's pointless. We're not, we're not going to be using these bullets. We might take velocity data for the uh, 139 when we switch to that bullet, because that is a bullet that if these spears don't work out well, um, I may try to track down some, some 139, some Hornady boat tails. I may try to track some down and we might switch to that bullet. So we will, you know, even though we're not going to be using this powder, this is a good powder, by the way, accurate 4064. That's what I used in that 250 Savage load, man. It's, it's solid. Um, so yeah, I mean, we'll still get velocity information. You never know when it might come back in handy later on down the road, you know, if I have a seven millimeter 08, so. Make sure you drink the coffee. And you guys can't, can't see this now. So that's the problem when you're trying to film all this stuff and show you guys, but so the target overall length that we're going to be looking at with these uh, Match Kings is 2.8. That's what we're going to go for. So, and the case fill, yeah, we're, we're good. We're not, I mean, we're not anywhere near the neck or anything like that. So we'll see if we meet any resistance. Yep, right there. But we were pretty close to bottoming out. Let's see what our measurement is. We barely even seated the bullet while doing my calipers. And I know, you know, people hate on the collet dies. We may, we may use them. I don't know. So we're at 2.928. So we're going to go ahead and seat this dude all the way. See where that puts us. That's still long, still a mile long. Um, we may end up using the collet die. I don't know, so we're at 2.908. Cool. Turn it down. I really wanted that Hornady die. Man, those micro just seating stems are just, that's the way to go. Um, if you haven't switched over to a micrometer uh, seating die yet, you don't know what you're missing. It's just, so much easier, 2.872. So much easier to dial in your um, your seating depth if you're trying to make any adjustments to it, any tweaks whatsoever. So much easier. Now the Lee, I mean, it's fine. It'll get the job done, you know, for what you're trying to do, 2.828. Oh yeah, still got plenty of room. We got powder moving in there, so we're gonna crank that down just a little bit. I've got the die set to where we're almost out of adjustment room on our seating stem. We're at 2.8095, so basically 2.81. 2.81, we're gonna Turn that just a hair and call that, we're just gonna call that good right there. We should be basically 2.8. Yep, dead on the money, 2.7995. There you go. Um, and these are gonna vary because they're me plats vary. The the tip on these hollow point bullets vary. So, you know, we're just, we wanted it close. We wanted it basically 2.8 around that number. 
uh, and we're just going to load everything to that that measurement. So that's what the finished round looks like. Looks like an absolute just beast of a round. And we will, yeah. So now we're just going to roll on and keep. Oh man, you hear the cicadas outside too. We're just going to keep dumping powder. Seat and bullets, dumping powder, seat and bullets. So that's really all we're doing in this video. Got them primed. You know, now we're. All right, we're getting there. Looks like the 2.8 might bump up to the 3.1. Because the 2.8. Close. Looks like we're going to settle in about 41.1. We'll dig out. We we'll dig out two kernels. Oh, yeah. That'd be much better. Oh, yeah. We're settling in. about 41 and a half perfect now on the hornady loads we may we may try to get them a little more exact uh, on each one we might try to do a little better job of dialing in that charge weight um, I'm not overly concerned about it Yep, still plenty of powder moving, so yeah, this is gonna be pretty straightforward, pretty simple process here. So really all we're doing is dumping powder, seat and bullets. But yeah, I'm pretty pumped about the, uh, the one thing I like about uh, Denny out at Duck Creek, man, he, he normally gets on it pretty quick. Um, shipping wise like i ordered it this morning because he sent me the email last night and so i i saw it first thing this morning and i mean i got online went to his website saw his selection of hammer bullets because i mean i don't think he ordered a bunch like i don't think he ordered a ton in any particular diameter so uh after i made my order for the the 277 diameter i went back and looked and it looked like he had already sold out of those so i don't think he you know i don't really think he bought a whole lot on that initial order i mean i don't really blame him they're not the cheapest things in the world to have sitting on the shelf um but he did have when i went and looked this morning he had a 224 diameter and he had various weights and some of the more popular uh, calibers. So like 224 stuff for 223. He had, I think he had multiple weights. Um, let's see. Come on. He had multiple weights uh, for 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, he had multiple weights for uh, 308. So, I mean, he had... Oh, and he had, uh, I think he just had one option for the 350 Legend, and he had one option for the 458 uh, SOCOM, I believe it was. So, but still pretty neat. I want to check out those. I've seen a lot of videos about them. So they're just another solid copper um, offering out there. So if you're looking for something in the solid copper world, you may want to give them a look. Man, I am 
pouring sweat. I should put my contacts in. I was about to say it's so hot the flies kind of chilled out, but they're back now. They're for a few minutes. I didn't hear them. Oh, they're back now in full force. Yeah, like I'm bending over to see. Oh, man, I knew that was going over. I dropped too many kernels in there. Oh, there we go. That should be perfect right there. Been over to see if we're close to zero and man alive. Just start dripping sweat down on the concrete. So, a little warm. But yeah, this will be a fun range day right here. See how it all. Oh, yeah, I got like five flies flying around my head right now. See how it all shakes out. I'm hoping to get to the range um, early next week. I'd like to get that initial fire forming done, get back, resize the brass, um, and go from there. So, but that's it. That's really all we're fooling with tonight. So you can see my, let, my setup over here. I'm just using my Redding uh, scale. I've got it set to 41 grains using my Lee scoop, drinking my coffee and sweating to death. So that's it. That's all. Um, Y'all stick around. The next video that gets uploaded will be uh, range footage. So we're going to head out. Uh, probably won't I won't film too long at the range I may film you know shooting the first few rounds and then we'll walk down check the target even though again this doesn't matter we don't care about these rounds we're just simply fire forming um, so y'all just stay tuned for that and then we'll just keep walking this process out so we'll catch y'all next time y'all have a good one see you